N3JF listening? Why can't I hit this repeater? I'm Julian Frost, N3JF, your ham radio sensei, and today I'm going to help you hit that repeater. Onegashimasu! If you're like me, much of your radio time is spent using a handheld radio. HT antennas are a compromise at best of times, they're physically short for a start. What this means is you may not be able to reach that repeater when you need to. If you're in a car, or out backpacking, or you're a prepper, you'll want to maximize your range. One way to improve your signal so that you can reach out further and receive better is to use a longer and more efficient antenna. And that's where this 2 meter 440 dual band antenna from Diamond comes in. The SRH77CA measures 40 centimeters or 16 inches in length. It's a quarter wavelength on 2 meters and a half wavelength on 440. It'll handle up to 10 watts, so it's good for pretty much any modern handheld radio. It has an SMA connector on the end, which is common for most HTs these days. If you have a receiver or a scanner, this antenna is also good for receiving on the 120, 150, 300, 450, 800, and 900 megahertz bands. Just don't try to transmit on those frequencies. This antenna is only made to transmit on two meters and 440. The extra length and efficiency this antenna provides could be the difference between making that contact or not being heard at all. N3JF listening. Got the repeater. Uh, Firewatch, net control, uh, last station, say again. A longer antenna may be perfect for when you're outside, but in a confined space like the passenger cabin of a car, you might just find that a long antenna creates a few problems of its own. N3JF listening. Thankfully, your ham radio sensei has a solution for that problem too. This is the MFJ310 antenna mount clip. It's a simple metal bracket which folds over your car window and holds your HT antenna firmly outside your vehicle or your friend's vehicle without you having to modify your car or your friend's car. And of course, by friend, I mean your non-ham wife or husband's car. Anyway, the clip has a nice cutout to allow the coax to bend but not get squished when it's closed in the window. Speaking of coax, there's 10 feet of flexible mini coax, which should be enough to get to your operating position in almost any car. There's a non-slip piece of silicon that grips the glass and stops the mount rotating. Obviously, this is not designed to be a permanent installation, but it will help keep you on the air and your friend happy on those long commutes to work and back. It's available with SMA, BNC, and reverse SMA connectors. Oh, what? I only left it out for like a week. Oh. Nothing lasts forever, and I can guarantee you that this mag mount used in the last clip was outside for a lot longer than just a week. But it goes to demonstrate a point. If you don't want your connectors getting corroded and nasty from being exposed to the elements, you need to protect them when there's no antenna attached. Enter the Tram Browning NMO rain cap, or part number 1290. It's a plastic cap. It screws on your NMO antenna mount and seals out moisture with its O-ring gasket. Keep your connectors shiny and clean. MFJ and Diamond also make caps for your SO239 connectors. So that's it. A longer antenna for your HT, a mount to get it outside, and some protection for that much abused NMO connector in your life. Check out all the links in the description below, like and subscribe to the channel, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. For Ham Radio Outlet, I'm Julian Frost, N3JF, your Ham Radio Sensei. Arigato gozaimasu!